Now this is some footage that I shot way back in December 2010 and uh, I've set myself up in a little pig house that's empty at the time but the window gives me a, a good view of the yard outside so I covered the window with a little bit of camouflage netting to stop any light shining in on me and came at first light to see what would uh, be about the yard and as you can see there's been about a, an inch of fall of snow and there is a lot of crows magpies, jackdaws, rooks just an abundance of them feeding along the uh, face of the silo there as the bottom row of the silo there was crop silage put in it which is sort of a mixture of grass and cereal crops like wheat or barley and the birds have found it and are slowly picking the kernels out of the silage face. Now cold weather like this, especially prolonged cold weather we usually concentrate uh, quite wary birds like cudit crows and magpies into a farmyard, especially where there's a good food source, which will give a, an air gunner a much easier opportunity at them than uh, you would get out in the open fields. The first bird of the morning is this magpie, which I take with a headshot at about 30 yards. Now this usually scares the birds up for a while, but if you're patient, they'll come back again. I'm using a BSA Super 10 in .22 calibre, producing about 15 foot-pounds of energy. And I'm looking for a clean headshot at this magpie, again at 30 yards. And dropping nicely. Now this is the following morning and I've been up earlier and set up before it's even full light but if you look very carefully on the yard in front of you there must be about 15 magpies or so knocking about feeding in whatever grain has been spilt as the farmer has been feeding his cattle. This surprised me a lot that these birds were up and feeding already before it was half light. It's so dark it's too dark for the camera so I bide my time and wait for the light to come. Now I've just noticed a hooded crow land on a post about 25 yards away and even though I'm having a battle with the camouflage netting getting in front of the camera I managed to get the crosshairs on him and just squeeze the shot off as the camera goes out of focus but I still put him down. Now there's plenty of magpies perched about the yard but I've heard a couple of hooded crows and I'm going to hold my fire to see if I can get an opportunity at one of them. And I've noticed one of them has landed on the top of the silage clamp about 35 yards away. And I take the shot to the back of the head. You can see he's stone dead as the head's quite limp, but the nerves are still telling him to try and fly away. But they soon subside. After a while I get another opportunity. This magpie is about 40 yards away. There's no wind so I just give him a little bit of elevation. And take him with another headshot. Now the birds have got wise to me. So I decide to move to another buyer. Where I have a view out to a trough that the farmer has been using to feed the uh, sheep with and there's quite a bit of activity about it there's this big old cock pheasant sitting and there's a few jackdaws um, even some of the smaller house sparrows etc but I'm really concentrating on this magpie here but he keeps moving about or when I do get an opportunity 
he's sitting in front of something I can't shoot through, like the bars of that gate. But when this jack tool gives me a clear opportunity, I take it. This spooks all the other birds besides the, the big cock pheasant who just doesn't want to give up his free breakfast. <laughs> 